And we're finally here. Ew. The Krampus Special. Ew. A game How that dare I'm, you? I'm so glad I could get this to work. <laughs> I am so, How dare so you? So glad I could get this to work. How dare you? Those... Welcome, my friends. <laughs> and my enemies too, I suppose. Oh man. Oh man. To my final game of the Advent Calendar 2023. Forget reality. Limbo of the Lost. Now this game has been a running gag between us uh, uh, privately for I don't know how many years now. So I figured this would be the perfect time to actually bring it onto the channel because nobody wants to play this stupid game. This is a terrible game. This is an awful game. If, if it lets you know about the quality of this game, uh, when we tried running it on my PC, we knew it was an old game, so we had to go to compatibility mode, which, you know, it makes sense. It's an old game. The fact that it kept crashing because of full screen mode. It's it's so crap and the Ooh. it's like it, it's so old and crap and this was computer is, you know, way too powerful and way too modern for this 2007 pile of garbage. Yeah, I haven't seen any of this game apart from just a couple tests. Uh, go ahead and press T for me if you could please. Oh, uh, does it hurt? go right here? Oh, yep. There you go. That turns on the subtitles. We're going to need those. Because you gotta hear this dialogue. Oh boy. Well, let's uh, go ahead and jump right into Brand it. Brand new game. Brand new let's game. Let's go. So Limbo of the Lost is basically a fictional retelling of uh, the, the fate of Captain Briggs here, who mysteriously disappeared on his, down his ship, probably in Limbo or in Hell or whatever, but yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's done by Majestic Studios. Uh, Limbo of the Lost. This game is infamous for being bad, terrible, awful, cringe-worthy, a game of its time, well, and stolen. Yep, it's about uh, what, what, what percentage would you give? Eighty-five percent plagiarized. That's if you're being generous. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's about ninety, ninety-five percent stolen. It's just. I think it's just one guy doing all the voices. This guy might have been the guy who stole everything. Like, hey. be like between the three guys at Majestic Studios, I think that Steve guy was the one who did the stealing. I would also like to make one point known at the very beginning. This is one of those games. One of those games that thinks it's hilarious and tries its best to make you laugh. So I better go ahead and save right now. Yep. Save your soul, dude! I see you've got already a few, uh, saves here just to uh, test things yeah, out, Just but, a couple uh, things, because, uh, after a certain point, there is a memory overload, and the game crashes. It doesn't know what to do. So, uh, you need to save basically every time a cutscene is about to start, after one ends, and before you do fucking anything. Also, yes, you get this graphic every single time. There we go. Our first cutscene. By the way, this dungeon, stolen, stolen. From, re from Return to Castle Wolfenstein. <laughs> For some reason, Limbo of the Lost just likes putting characters in your face. Because, you know, they don't have much in terms of uh, full body animation. It's just all in the face. I think that was stolen from Oblivion, I'm pretty sure. Well, also, it's just like, push the camera back a little bit, but I guarantee that if you did, half their model is missing. What is this place? I think they just animated the head, that's all. Yeah. Nothing else is there, probably. And the, uh, the, uh, lip sync is, um, not very good. I thought it just crashed there. I think it did. Take long at all. We took every precaution, and this still happened. <laughs> yep, it's in the right compatibility mode. So yeah, it just keeps fucking crashing. Cool. So another thing: every time this game crashes, everything is unskippable, which means you need to watch through G2 Games. You need to watch through Majestic Studios. You need to do all of this. You can't even skip the opening dialogue on the title screen. You can you can uh, save and load here though. You sure. can. So resurrection is load. Take me. Please. So there's that. 
Thank God. Save a little bit of time there. But now we have to watch this over again. Ooh, isn't this such a great performance? I don't even know what triggered it crashing. Were they trying to transition into the next box of the person talking? That's a popular place where it likes to stop. I don't know why. Ah, so you are well. <gasps> well, I hope you guys enjoy these cutscenes over and over and over again. We're gonna try our best to get through them. We're, we're gonna try our best. You know what? Huh? I think that opening cutscene gave it overflow. What? Who are you? you might be right. <laughs> Oh God! You might be right. It, oh no! That's why it. That's why it crashes like every 10, 15 minutes. Every time it tries to load a cutscene, it overflows its memory and that's, kills itself. That's what happens. Oh my God! How the hell do people speed run this? They probably have a computer that, with the you know correct software and everything on it, they probably know the ins and outs of why this game does what it does. So. Yeah, and this is with the fix. I actually had to go into the game's files and make it windowed. <laughs> otherwise, it would have crashed more. Okay, we're past where we stopped last time. Good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I knew it. Every time something, every time we get farther, just make a save. There we go. Save your soul. All right. The four evils. Okay, the four evils. Okay, here, here we go. The four evils. You mean the developers? Uh, 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 uh. No, now all four of them. I think it's only three guys anyway. Yeah, these character models are certainly, uh, it, a lot to be desired! I mean, the main character model looks okay, I guess. If a little dead-eyed. I, I hate this zoom. Every time a character starts talking and they get closer to the camera, I'm just like, back up. I hate the fact that when well, Elliot Calico talks, his wits don't actually quest to Gala. I mean, if you listen so to this is actually how he's talking. If you listen to the dialogue, it's actually how he sounds. Earthly guide. Earthly guide. Earthly guide. Whoa. Uh, so, uh, so I think we're supposed to be the earthly guide because we're the one who's telling Briggs what to do here. Fourth wall break for the funnies. Back up. Ah, oh, it's the mind flayer's parasite. Riveting dialogue, by the way. Oh, you ha How far did you get when you tested this? I stepped outside of the dungeon for a little bit. Okay. And said, okay, we're gonna save the rest for Advent Calendar. You have, you have no idea, because I've tested just a little farther than that, and, uh, who boy, if you thought this dialogue was riveting, just wait until we actually meet somebody else. Uh-huh. And... If it lives... Ah, come on! God! Ah! Load it back up! That you will meet. They will be much more knowledge. Cool. It will be much more knowledge. Much more knowledge. Are you going to save yourself? Now come, come quickly. You have much to do. Yeah, I'm really uh, enjoying the uh, <laughs> cross between Grover and Gollum here. They are said to be very Look at what they're precious. Gollum. Gollum. Take it on the no. other side. God. Take it on. No. Take it on. Take on me. Take on me. Oh, he's pulling that worm out of his ear again. Safe. Oh, I think it crashed again. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's a good thing you saved it when you did. We can't get past this cutscene. Earthly guy. You know what I bet it is? That's causing the overflow. Huh. This. Ow. Save. Now I must leave you. But first. Da! Help us all! Help us all! Get the fuck out of here! Oh, load your save file. Let's see if that does something to the memory. Like oh! like deloads it and then reloads it. That skipped the that skipped the uh the worm. No, 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 really. You don't have to. We're able to skip cutscenes! Loading one line at a time! You never know. No, it's alright, I have faith. Damn save here. 
<laughs> because it got rid of the Yes, thank you for making an alternate Help. save. Backed with... Help. Yeah, so I know what okay. the worm is for. Uh, it it's bad. Back up! That was a nose and a forehead. We did it! Okay. We're past the point of no return! Cool! It Sorry. had to load that! It had to load our character! <laughs> Back up! <laughs> Okay, finally! We're gameplay! Alright, cool! Holy <laughs> shit, gameplay! Save your soul! Help back with help! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, so, let's actually get out of here now. Okay, as soon as we find- Okay, uh, go up to that red. Okay, for anybody who's played a point-and-click adventure game- Oop. We, okay, uh, at the top of the screen you have your inventory. Uh, take a look at that real quick and I'll get to an explanation. Slimy worm. That, the seal of sufferance. The seal of sufferance. That is how you do anything in this game. So if you go up to the, uh, that red sign there and right click it, on the Ouija board, you can do different things. You can look at something, you can take something, you can sense something, or you can uh, talk to something, I think. Uh, do you want to, uh, reveal the magician's secret about what sense does? Imprisoned yep. soul, number 12589. His name, Jethro Quagmire. Ah, uh, it's in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer font. You want to add another thing to steal? Sign Grunger. What if this was the one person they credited in the credits? Thanks to the special font. Uh, the sensibility on your Ouija board? Does absolutely nothing. It does nothing. It's been confirmed to do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, by the way, there was a joke on that door if you wanted to uh, go check out that You joke. know, I don't think it, it would have been worth it. Alright, so we have a hanging skeleton, and at first I thought the game was broken, but no, you need to do one of these four actions every single time you come up to something. You can't just click on it. That gets especially annoying when later on you actually have to pick things up, and you have to come to this stupid-ass Ouija board. I don't think so. Can I sense him? The smell of death is <gasps> it did now. something! I smelled something! Ah. Alright, okay, cool. Uh... Uh, head upstairs. I can- I can tell you where to go for a small portion of the game, and then after a certain point we'll just be like, ah, okay. It's never supposed to talk to that skeleton. Nope. You're thinking of up here. Now, before you uh, uh, head down more of the hallway here, and then uh, heading up, save in this room. Okay. Oh, oh wait, wait. Uh, it was a ghost. Then he made a scared face. And he. T oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, save in this room. Helped. Back with help. And if you go to the right. We get an obnoxious character. Obnoxious character! Yeah, let's yeah, go! Yeah. Alright, let's go! This is the guy. And now you're stuck. Ahem. <clears throat> um. So, uh... Hello? How's, how's your day? How you doing? Oh, there we go. We might have to be on standby for saving. I managed to get through this entire cutscene without it crashing. Cool. Yeah. Save your soul. Save soul. Uh, oh, hello. I didn't see you up there. Bullshit, you didn't. This punctuation is killing me here. <gasps> Look at that wall of text! Two exclamation marks and it goes, oh, hello. And then a comma after that. Like, are you kidding me? Come on. So, here you get to endure some of the humor in the game. Do you notice where it says in the subtitles, blah, 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 blah? <laughs> blah, 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 blah! You are now stuck listening to this dialogue, and you can't skip it. Can you really tell that it's just one guy doing the voices? This is the second time he's done this kind of a voice. Is this where you got your Krampus voice from? <laughs> uh, I hope not. 
<laughs> Look, even the main character fell asleep because that's the joke. How are you doing, anyway? I mean, it's fun to finally actually see gameplay of the game that uh, was a running joke for us back in the day. It has been a long time coming, getting this. Well, that's the main reason I I laughed when I saw what game you were having us play for Advent Calendar. I was like, holy shit, I just realized I've never seen actual gameplay. There it goes. And perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Yeah. Oh, let's go again. And just imagine if you hadn't saved, you'd have to listen to all that garbage again. Well, I really hope I didn't load into an infinite crash. No, it's because you notice what it's actually doing. It is actually advancing past what you saved on. So you're actually skipping past the thing that made it crash, which is literally anything. See, I don't think it's... Uh when it changes uh, uh, camera perspectives, I don't think it's it's uh, clearing out the memory correctly. If it's gonna just if it crashes, because every time that there is a, a cutscene, there's a chance of crashing. Mm hmm And this is actually crashing a lot more than it did during my test, so I don't know what changed. Maybe it's OBS. Oh, possibly other programs in the background just making it die. But it's fine. We're getting the. Amazing game, Limbo of the Lost. The definitive experience. Okay. Grunger, I think. Grunger, is, wow, that sounds like a save. Is how they uh, pronounce it here. That's the jailkeeper. We need to find him, get the key, and get out of jail. So what exactly were you doing to put him off? See if we can at least get past the uh, prologue here. Oh, good luck with that. I gotta you do have a walkthrough, right? Yeah, I got a walkthrough here. Can I see that walkthrough? I want to see how far I got. Uh. Okay. There's a damp torch I have to take on the floor. Correct. Yeah, I got past that. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. We're going with poop. Ha, ah, that's that's a joke. I like that joke. That made Damn me laugh. it. I was close. Ah, oh, I was actually very close. Damn it. Okay, okay. Uh, cool. Wow, we are actually. Yep. Yeah, here, here you go, buddy. Here, here's your walkthrough back. You used a word like it like nidorous, and God then it's like it, it just did. couldn't handle it. <laughs> Too many syllables. Ah! <laughs> See, that's a that's hackneyed uh, game writing right there, where they they try to be cheeky and you know gross, and it's like, oh look, I stick, I smell like shit and poo poo, and then they you know. Oh, yes, uh, the, the rate of decomposition is certainly going to be, uh, not to slow down by the passage of time. It oh, you haven't even seen the best of it, man. Oh, God, how far think, back was your save? I think I said this before, but it sounds like Ryan Stiles' uh, Carol Channing voice. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. <laughs> now, what are you doing here in the land of the lost and the damned? Save right now. Okay. I have a theory. If you were to load this, would it skip the cutscene? It did! Nah, it didn't. Oh, wait, it didn't? Well, I'll have a little it'll certainly made it go faster. What was that? Oh, he was talking directly to the audience, to us. Well, can I talk directly to him? Oh hey. my god, we made it! Hey, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to a zombie. Holy fucking shit. So we have the, the one type of voice acting where it's like, Oh, what you doing here with the dingy with dog? And then you have, uh, you know, Drake of, or uh, Briggs over here like, you know, Oh, what? What? No, I, I don't All know right. what you mean. Torch on the ground, go ahead and pick that up. With the Ouija board. Oh, it's obnoxious. Jake! Yeah! And we have to have the cutscene of him picking it up and reaching down. Oh, might as well say <laughs> Just keep it going, man. We'll make it through the prologue. Come on, we can do it. All right, uh, take uh, to the left. All right, now we gotta go until we find the Shish Grunger sign. Yep, it should just be uh, a couple rooms over. So all the way to the left. 
I'm glad you brought a walkthrough, because I was hoping we wouldn't be floundering around oh, at all uh, down there. Oh, right, you're used to bringing, uh, bringing walkthroughs. I had a walkthrough for danger -esque. Uh, yes, down the hall. <laughs> oh, uh, there you go. You have to wait for the hand to point down there. Uh, enter the room under the sign. Correct. All right, save. Whoa. Oh, look, look. Oh, what a stink. Shh. You ain't my master. You ain't my master. Show yourself. So this conversation lasts like five goddamn minutes. I'm not kidding. I gotta love how the eye patch doesn't move with his eyes. I gotta love the fact that he sounds like he has a pillow stuffed in his mouth. Down here, at the master's feet. Oh, look at me. I'm doing it a voice. It's a voice acting I'm doing here. Back up. Oh my god. Back the fuck up. You disgusting, slimy, piece of shit, demon, kind of looking guy. And then the game crashes. So funny thing, if you actually go into the files of Limbo of the Lost, because uh, it's on my PC now, thanks for that by the way, uh, you can actually find the save files folder. You can't do anything like adjust them or anything. Yeah, it's then just like I and I files or whatever. Yeah, it's just a, a list of files saying save one, save two, save three. So if you ever wanted to clean your slate of this game besides uninstalling, you can always just get rid of the save files. Okay, okay, I get the message. I'll keep the noise down. No, I don't think you got the message at all. You better save. You know how people do like stereotypical Cockney accents? No, what do you mean by that? In it? Back up. You're in my personal space and I think you're clipping through your hat. Oh, there we go. Are you okay? Are you okay? Boy, this is some of the best voice acting in video game history, I gotta tell you what. I love it. Hold on. What's, what's that PS2 game I have over here? Uh, Chaos Wars! Oh my god, I think we should have a competition. What? So what's worse, uh, th the voice director hiring his own family, or one guy trying to do the same voice between five different characters? Mmm... Nepotism or passion? Oh, mm. oh this is passion, is it? <laughs> Certainly is, something. Is that what you want to call it? That's very generous of you. I think you can get a tax write-off for that kind of charity. <laughs> no, I honestly do think this this game's a pile of shit. At least Chaos Wars actually works. I'm sorry. But this is a this is a piece of shit in a way that Chaos Wars isn't. Would you put this under the realm of Terabad? They spelled aren't wrong. Ooh, okay, yep, Terabad. How do you forget the E in aren't? Like they skipped his laughter. Thank fucking God. I don't know what of that name. Okay, do you remember Hot Fuzz? I was and, just and thinking the, of and that. the guy who had hey, all the guns. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> right. What do you say? Oh, he just hey, well, kind of this one. Right. What do you say? Oh, he just sang that. Yeah, exactly. I'll go ahead and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry for all the saving, but this this game literally crashes at a moment's notice. It skips the laugh for some reason. It's either that or I just can't hear it. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. I think we'll just play along. Hopefully. All right, there is a bottle on the ground next to Gr Grunger. And there's a save point here too. Oh my god! That? Oh, wow! I can't it's believe you found it's it. Very generous. All right. Uh, yeah. So there's the bottle. It wouldn't. Okay. Take the empty flask from the floor. Okay. 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 I will take it from the floor. Show um, me taking it. Yes. All right. Now leave the, the room. 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 I think. Okay. Uh, and then head up the stairs. Oh to, boy! Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I specifically had to message you for this save. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Here we go. So, uh, could you uh, look up for me, um, mm -hmm. Limbo the Lost, all the games that they stole from, because there is a gigantic list. I think you're sitting on my phone. Uh, I am? Yeah, I think so. What's this doing here? Look at that! What's this doing here? Alright, let's see. <laughs> no, don't come closer. No, 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 no! Oh, my eye! Your nose went into my eye! Oh. No, I love this. Shall I? Okay, I think I will. Immediately. He has no... Urgency to his voice. He's like, I let bring what's going on here. And then he goes, Oh, what's this? Uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna hate this next part. Oh, just this next part. And it hey! crashed. Hey, perfect All timing, right. perfect timing. Limbo of the Lost Stolen Assets. Let's take a look. Let's see. Uh, uh, comparing specific scenes in Limbo of the Lost with, an, with a nearly identical space in The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. So we have uh, soon discovered backgrounds and objects that appear to originate from, according to Wikipedia, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, Unreal Tournament 04 and 03. Oh, <laughs> Excuse me! Uh, am I what a fine yield of flesh you appear to be? <laughs> yeah, being a British game, her name is. Uh, it's supposed to mean cigarette. It's cranny cigarette butt, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Diablo 2, Thief the Dark Project, Thief, Deadly Shadows, CryEngine 2, Tech Demo, Silent Hill 4, The Room, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Painkiller and its expansion, Painkiller, Battle Out of Hell, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines, The Lord of the Rings, The Battle for Middle-Earth, Hexen, and World of Warcraft. Just to name a few things, not to mention the stoles that- the, the, the stills that he stole for some- for some backgrounds. Other scenes appear to be taken from live-action films. Yep. One from this 1997 film Spawn, another from Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, and several more from At World's End. So basically, the guy bought a bunch of PC games and be like, yeah, I like that asset. What so, if it was mine? So, uh, they made- they started this game in, like, 2003, hence the Wintermute engine that they're using. Uh, they stopped for a bit and then they picked it back uh, actually started in the 90s, my bad. And then in 2003 they picked- they picked it up back development. And they didn't get released until 2007 when they found a publisher. And then come to find out- Come to find out! That they- that they stole everything and, uh, two of the guys on Majestic Studios were like, Uh, yeah, we had no idea about this so we're just gonna cut everything now. There's a comparison shot. Oh yeah. I'll save this for your video. Exactly, yes. Exactly the same. Wow! And then they, 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 they blame that Steve Ballas guy or whatever who did most of the assets for the game. And he's like, what? Well, we, we didn't- I didn't steal anything! Uh, it was- it was a third-party contractor that did all the stealing! Yeah, that, that's what it was! And they're like, uh-huh. Then they go back to an interview that he did earlier where it's like, yeah, basically what I do is I load it in game and then I, uh, I, I, I adjust the camera, take- take a screenshot, and we use that for the basis of the background. Yeah, plagiarists Ooh. are uh, amazingly stupid and uh, are very easy to suss out. Some of them are better at their craft than others, but uh, yeah, you can find them out very quickly. Nice rope, though. Boy, that's got that, that's got me just you know slapping my my leg here, just guffawing, my just g g getting cat called by by some. But that's man, I I love this. Also, game. don't say a word about my big juicy fat ass. Yeah, we all know about Briggs's dump truck ass. <laughs> I can yeah, look at Briggs in his dump truck ass over there! Oh, that's the one thing I can that hear it backing up now. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> so this is where I got kind of lost. Alright, after the conversation, walk right, says the walkthrough. Correct, so this is You're where right. I was able to, to figure it out. You will enter a room with bookshelves. Right, I managed to pick up the pot, you will, there's and I a managed jar to pick on, up the note. There's a jar on the table and a bottle on the floor. A jar on the table? Oh! Ah, ah. Alright, so. Jar. Take. Take! It crashed again. Oh, I really couldn't handle it, could Son it? of a bitch, it crashed again. <laughs> Wait, you want me to do what? Nope, can't do it. Nope, no, 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 no. We got a long way to go before the end here. It's surprisingly not as long as you think. Pick up the jar. Pick up the pot. Ready or not. Let's go. I feel like I'm in Groundhog Day. I 
feel like I've done this before. I got you, babe. Except instead of that, it's, uh, you know, Forget reality in your wildest dreams. Right you are. Pick that up. Right you are. Save your soul. The note on the table just tells you to get drink. Alright, get the... Get the pot, probably. Take. Do you want me to read the walkthrough for you? You know, that would that would make things a lot easier. Go Perfect. Ahead. All right, so okay. you got the pot, you got the jar. Yep, I can save. Uh, use the... F <laughs> okay. So, combine the damp torch with the jar. Uh, is the, it, m the middle that's one. The, this, the, no, 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 the, the middle pot one. of human fat. There you go, you yeah. got a fatty torch. Cool, save. All right. So, go... Uh, let's see. Go back to Cranny's Cauldron. Get, get it. As we try to go through the door. Just go through the door, man. Come on. Yeah. And, uh, use the torch on the flames. Yeah, I better save for that. <laughs> save for everything. Scratch your head. Save. Take a breath. Save. Save. Sorry. On the cauldron. You said the flames. The flames on the cauldron! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Excellent. All right. Now, uh, uh, right click to put it back in your inventory. There, there we go. go. So now you just have a burning torch in your pocket. Ah, hot, hot, hot! All right. Uh, go to the right. Leave this place. Back to the right? Yep. With the bookcases? Okay. Yep. Yeah, because there's a couple things we need to do in this area. I was so close to the end of the prologue. I'm kind of pissed at myself now. Uh, go through the door. And now, we'll, uh, go up the stairs, because there's nothing else around here. Wall saving, yes. It better not save during the, during a crash. No, 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 nothing saves. Or, uh, yeah, I, I get you, I get you. So, heading downward, we need something down here. Beware! Water! Oh my ah! god! Ah! Oh god! Cool, through the door. I, I kind of love this scene, actually. Cool. Mid fright. No. Ah. What the? And then that's it. So, ah. so use the uh, use the blue jar in the water. It seems like it's meant for water. Excellent. 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 Okay. Go me. What now? <laughs> Combine the worm with the water. You, you you got it, buddy. What 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 did that? Oh, that gave us tequila. Anyone? <laughs> ha! Uh, <laughs> what next, Maestro? Uh, go ahead and leave this place. And now we're going the alternate path. Uh, so head downward. And then go all the way back there to that door. So that wooden door over there. Correct. All right. Cool. You see these ropes? Burn them. Burn them. Burn the ropes. Gotta burn the ropes, baby. Burn the ropes. You ever heard of that game? You have to burn the rope. Yeah. You burn the rope and saved us all. So this is the part I couldn't get. I couldn't figure out how to light the torch. Now you're a hero. You managed I, to beat it the almost, whole I thought I could have sworn it crashed. I think it was going through all the subtitles. Yeah, okay, we'll save. Oh my. Help, Help us all. <laughs> so, uh, burn the other one. Burn. Maybe watch a video. Maybe hit refresh and start again. The subtitles are. <sighs> oh, it is badly mixed. Oh, I know what's happening. They're they're adjusting the model and have. Oh, it's ooh. All right. Ooh, stinky, stinky video a game. After saving, uh, return to the zombie. The zombie? That was in the cage, yep. You mean, you mean that, that oh, you dumb stinky guy, Correct. oh, get me, oh. No, 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 not stinky guy, he's gone. Nilds? R return to the, uh, yeah, nilmates. 
the guy with that was hanging with the skeleton, you know, the one where we fell asleep listening to his yeah, dialogue. Yeah, the stinky guy. Oh, that stinky guy, yeah. Not the other st not this stinky guy or this stinky guy, the other stinky guy. I'm talking about the other stinky guy. It all smells all the time. This game stinks! <laughs> that almost sounds like a, a selling point. It's like, no, 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 not there. Downwards. This game stinks! Uh, Limbo on the loft! This through the game hallway. stinks! Down here? Yep. yep. And then... through there? Nope. Uh, Downwards. Duh. Yeah, look for the hand changing instead of a pointer. And then cool, uh, to I'll the save. right. Alright, oh, take no. the severed arm. Is the arm talking to me? Probably. I'm not happy about carrying this, but if you're sure. I'm not happy about playing this, but if you're sure. That skull in the background also take that. Do have feelings, you know. Shut up. You Gabriel Knight wannabe. Okay, it hasn't it hasn't crashed. Oops. Okay. Yep, take the skull. Okay. 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 I'll take this school. I got this school now. Safe. Safe. Okay. Go back to cranny. Cranny. Uh, cigarette. Mm hmm. Try new cranny cigarettes. <laughs> Actually, have you ever? Okay, you you probably haven't because I'm the weird guy that gets suggested commercials. Uh, there is an old smoking, uh, smoking commercial where the tagline is, Cigarettes will get ya. Up, up, oh. up, up, up. I can't believe you don't remember these halls you're going through. Do we, do, oh, why would I, why would no! you go that way? <laughs> no, I didn't click over there, you idiot, stupid Gabriel Knight wannabe motherfucking god. Please, don't insult Gabriel Knight. No, okay. I'm trying to call- Right there! Just Did the you see the hand chain? But then he just stops in the do What? Right there, you see how it's pointing up the stairs? That's stupid! That's normal. That's stupid! Well, at least normal for this game. Alright, Cranny! Should, should be a more noticeable change! Give her the tequila in the arm. Alright! I better save. <laughs> You're learning! You're learning! This is actually the longest stint of it not crashing. It has! Hilarious. Now you're gonna say something, and as soon as I give him the tequila, it's just gonna go up. Here's a tequila, Cranny. That Sploosh. That's just what I needed. I do love to drop the hard stuff. <laughs> God, bloody hell, that sort of kick to it. This game is rated T for teen, by the way. So, I thought that this was a that this was a fuck the player over moment because I thought I needed the tequila for grunger. Apparently no. You needed to always give it to Cranny. Ooh, very much. That's better. Okay. And then give her the skull. Okay. <laughs> We're actually insanely close to the end. Like I knew that, that, that makes me ha that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, as soon as it started, you know, get the ball rolling. Fancy a taste, lovely. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. so anyway, leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> Out of here, but wait, do we have the? Wait, actually, Sorry. uh, right click. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we're heading back to Grunger's room. You mean the Scrunger room? Whatever. The Scrunger. Scrunger. Okay. Okay. So where's the potion? It's better safe. <laughs> hey, Post UDJ. At the end of this video, put how many times we saved. <laughs> I'm, so, gonna, I'm gonna keep a counter, I think. Go to Grunger's face. Save and, for crashes. And look. All right. So, wait. The key or the face? Grunger the jailer. You are ugly. Funny. Okay. Go up to the, your inventory, use the purple bottle on the snot. <laughs> snot okay. This game is not real. 
All right, so use the with the skull. No, no, no. Use the bottle. You had it right. The empty pot. Yep, empty pot or whatever on the snot. Yeah, that's cute. And now combine the snot with the pot uh, with the skull. Sleeping Potion! Now get out of here and give it to the skull, or give it to the the talking head. Game is not real. Game is not real. <laughs> All right, so take the potion, give it to. Well, come on, walk over here. Give it to our friend here. Yep. Ed the head. Okay. Double D. Good. Now leave, and I'll wait for my master. Leave. So leave. No, he leaves. Or it leaves automatically. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, back in town. Master. What was that transition? Grubs up. Mm. My favorite. Ooh, that, that's a microphone. <laughs> Dead. Dead? Head back into Grunger's room. Better save. Tequila. <laughs> Oh, I see you named one cigarette butt because you were probably like, whoa, 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 whoa. That was directly after that cutscene. Uh, take the key. Yoink. I better look at it. Yeah, okay, cool. Take the key. I don't know. I feel like I really need to just, just, just sense it. My dude, take the key. I could action the key. Okay, but I need to be quick. It crashed. Oh, okay, cool. Excellent. Excellent. All right, time to save. Cool. <laughs> We're almost out, man. We're almost out. We're almost out of Limbo of the Lost. You remember the water fountain room? Head right. That's all the way at the top, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to have to go through Cranny's room. Uh -huh. And go to... Go Hello, Cranny, not nice word. <laughs> Cranny, we don't say that word anymore. It's me, Cranny! Oh god, stop! God. No, no, no! Alright, uh, up the- up the stairs? There you go. Downward? In the water room. Head down? Down? This goes down? Apparently, there's the way out. Use no. key on door. No! Way out! If only there was a comma there. Or no way! Out! We did it! We, we beat the prologue! Did it. <laughs> oh my god! I have never seen a completed chapter of Limbo of the Lost. <laughs> I've gone insane. So I would say, you know, that's see you next time on Limbo of the Lost coming next year! Hell no. <laughs> That was a nightmare to keep this thing running. Uh, but you do have one more thing for the people, don't you? I certainly do. So, uh, this game is infamous for many reasons. For being a crap game, for being a crap game, for being a crap game, oh, you might for being save. a stolen you, you might game. Save. Oh, uh, uh, save. Go ahead and save your soul, please. For being a stolen game, but is also known for its finale. And, uh, there's like five chapters of this fucking game. No way, we're, no way are we going to get through all this. No, 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 matter no, no, of fact, I'm going to just, you know, end his nigh get rid of right it, get now. Rid of it. I'm going to end his nigh right now. So, uh, I prepared, uh, the last, what, like, five, ten minutes of the game, so it shows off the lead-up to the grand finale, and it's this finale that has been the butt of many jokes over the years. So, uh, one, one small second, and we'll get you there. So I have no context for this final puzzle, but uh, it, it's apparently having to go to this hand part and putting a sigil on there and having it attributed to keys on like yet it is like five, six, seven times. What it's am I looking at? I, I don't know. Probably one for like the seven deadly sins or whatever. Death. But uh, you, you you do all that. It's supposed to un unlock everything. You can see that his UI is trying to kill itself over uh, there. Uh, yeah, I, I've noticed it's trying to die. It's very unaliving over there. Oh, we've unlocked the four horsemen of the apocalypse. All right. Oh. oh. Oh, you actually do have to spell things on the Ouija board. I guess, right, I, I think he's spelling out the, the the runes that were on his hand to be you know, all, all mist-like at all, you know? Okay. And he did it. He just got out of that sticky situation. 
Great animation. Ooh, that looked bad. That looks like Oblivion is what oh, it looks like. Oh boy. I swear I saw that in Oblivion before. Either that or Morrowind. Was that one of the games stolen? Yes. That sounds about right. So two Elder Scrolls games uh, are in here. <laughs> That's disgusting. They stole from the best. I mean, both the Thief games, Painkiller. Diablo 2. Diablo 2. Good lord. I can't see a thing. Here we go. At the end of the game, all the NPCs come together and sing you a song. Because it's a funny game, get it? Alright, sing along everybody if you know the words. The King of Limbo. He has indeed. Mostly frowns. You didn't use that rhyme already. The king, the king of limbo. What more can a poor boy do? Working for the likes of me and you. You have this by memory. What more poor boys say? But I could use your help in any way. <laughs> you have this memorized. And I don't know where they got a thing and they could get this thing to work. <laughs> they just did facial movements. They didn't do any body movements for this because they didn't have the skills. Yeah, so... The King Limbo. Look, look, look there. It's our friend from the beginning of the game. He came back at the end, yes, he did. I think the only reason this became a running joke is because the the horrible singing of King of Limbo, but also, I was kind of petrified of all of these models because they look so shit when they were introduced. <laughs> exactly. Like, you take a look at this and you go, what the fuck is this? See, that's what they do for body movements. They just kind of have the fingers just land vaguely on the piano. I think I saw one of the hands, like, flip backwards or something like that, so it, it barely works. By the way, Captain Briggs' middle name is Spooner. I think I should just throw that out there as another good old punchline from Limbo of the Lost. That sounds like a Spoonerism. <sighs> I think I think her model messed up when they turned her head around like that. <laughs> Laura Jaw isn't working here! <laughs> Wait, keep her turn around, keep her turn around. <laughs> I'm expecting the game to crash around this point. <laughs> do you see all these crossfades? That's probably impossible for this game to do. Probably got one of those NASA computers to run this. Or, miraculously, uh, probably one of those XP computers. Yes, excuse me, can I borrow NORAD to run Limbo of the Lost, please? Actually, that's probably too powerful for this game. Yeah, you, you need an actual XP computer, I'm Damn sure. it! And all mine are dead. Yeah, I don't have any. Wait, wait, I have one downstairs that was an old work computer, but... It's okay, it's okay. Well, that's how the game ends. Except for this, uh, post-credits cutscene, I guess. A game that tries to be funny... But everything is stolen. Or did I? Oh my god. Damn you and damn you puny mankind. Oh my dear brother. Oh yes, this is sequel bait. Double or nothing, my brother. How did the sequel for Limbo of the Lost go? Oh, they, 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 they didn't make it because the first game was stolen to shit. And yeah, you can't download this anymore. This is why it was so amazing to me when you showed me we were doing Limbo the Lost because I thought it was gone forever. Oh, nothing's ever gone forever if you know where to look. Not these this is, days. This is not lost media, we'll put it that way. Yeah, fucking right! It's like the freedom. Yeah, fucking right! <laughs> is that a stolen movie? Research. <laughs> yeah, vocals and... Oh that, my god. That's the first guy. Lead vocals, puzzle design. Puzzle design. Yeah, I stole that too. Great. And this is the guy right here. Steve Bovis is the guy that people peg as the guy who stole everything. <sighs> oh boy. Well, I'm glad that it has gone from our minds and our hearts forever. It now. is done. It is done. It is finished. And with that, my advent calendar is now complete, leaving only one gift left. The star on the top of the tree. Before you say anything when you see what gift it is, let me explain. 
Okay, here you go. All right. Here's gift 25. It's it's in a little box with some uh, red wrapping paper in it. Uh, should you have anything to say, or you want me to just... Go ahead and open it, but don't say anything once you see what it is. All right, here we go. Let's open it up. Here we go. Now let's see what we have here. I figured for Christmas, no matter what we gave one another, we'd have a fun time riffing on something that everybody likes. And simultaneously, nobody likes. What even is this? <laughs> I mean, is it the Tim Allen movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be any worse than this garbage was. <laughs> Let's riff on a visual novel, buddy. You know what? I'm down for it. Hell yeah. yeah that, that, that sounds fine. As long as it's better than whatever this was. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching my advent calendar. Let's tune in to Niskel Channel tomorrow for the finale, which is... Merry Christmas, everybody. It's this. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And don't let Krampus ruin your holidays. Thank you.